The cord set is a three-wire, 18-gauge cord. Power cords tend to receive lots of abuse. The cord can be cut, nicked, internally damaged, or have the prongs broken off. A damaged cord should be immediately replaced to avoid an electric shock. Replacing the cord set is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the back half of the handle. Now I can remove the wiring connections from the cord. The black wire is secured to the switch with a small Allen screw. I'll go ahead and loosen the screw, and then I can pull the wire away from the switch. The white wire is secured with a slide-on terminal, so I can just pull it away from the switch. The green grounding wire is also secured with a slide-on type connector up underneath this plastic area. I'll use a pair of needle nose pliers to remove it. Now remove the cord protector from the cord. Now I can install the new cord. I'll insert the cord wires through the cord protector. Now I'll reconnect the wires. The grounding wire can be a little challenging because the connection is made up underneath the plastic housing. I found the easiest way to do this is to align the slide on connector with the post that it presses onto, and then once it's in place, push it on with a screwdriver. Now I'll reattach the white cord wire, and on the bottom of the switch, the black cord wire. And now I can put the switch back into the housing. As I do this, I want to make sure that I get all the wires tucked back into the housings so they don't get pinched. I'll place the cord protector back into its opening in the handle and make sure that I have enough cord pushed up into the handle so it gets clamped when I put the two halves of the handle back together. The cord should be sitting just in front of these prongs next to the screw holes. That looks good. And now I can replace the rear handle and secure it with the screws. And now you know how to install a new cord set on your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.